The Prime Minister has been accused of cronyism after his hairdresser was awarded an MBE in this year's New Year's Honours List. Nino Carbosiero started cutting David Cameron's hair before he entered Downing Street and was credited with switching the PM's parting from right to left in 2007. Lino joins us now from his salon in central London. Hello to you, Lino, and congratulations. Uh, what did you think when you heard about your MBE? Thank you very much. I was completely shocked. I had no idea that someone had put me up for it and um, knowing now what the process is to, uh, to receive such an honour, it's mind-blowing that, uh, that I received that, um, the MBE. Why do you think you have been given this award? Well, I'd like to think it's uh, down to uh, a lot of the charity work that I do and also the, uh, I'm striving to push a state registration in hairdressing throughout the country. Um, hairdressers are, are not uh, registered. Uh, anyone can pick up a pair of scissors and, and become a hairdresser. Um, I want to get to the young kid who's in a small salon that's not, you know, the, it's not the salon owner's fault because they might be a one-man band and they don't have the time to educate their uh, assistants. But I want to get to make sure that all youngsters get the fair training that they deserve. Tell us about the, uh, the rug rethink, as uh, Martin Amis might put it, you gave to the Prime Minister. How, how did you change his hair? Uh, of course, this was back when he was leader of the opposition. So the whole hair, hair thing, the left to right, is just... I, I, personally, I always forget whether... I mean, any of my clients will back me up on this. I, I never remember where the parting is. And I probably, on, when I cut his hair at the time, just cut it to the way I thought it went and no one, no, we didn't notice and it just, it went from there. Um, it, it was a complete mistake. I mean, I, I never remember people's partings. I guess and I always get it wrong. But didn't he notice when you switched his parting, for example? He probably didn't notice. He probably just looked at it in the mirror, thought, oh, that looks good. And, and that was it. I mean, he, you know, he's a very busy man. Did you, did you expect quite the, set, the amount of scrutiny that there was on, on his hair uh, and his appearance after you started cutting it? I, I just find the whole thing, you know, is, um, is something that I'm not used to. I, I, I'm very much behind the camera. All my clients that I look after, I'm just completely behind the scenes. and. You know, I'm not used to all this attention, so yeah, I, I find it quite funny to be honest. Uh, what about that bald spot? <laughs> what bald spot? <laughs> Discretion, you see, that's why he's got the big clients, Adam. Um, it was revealed last week just how much time Margaret Thatcher spent uh, visiting her dresser. How important is it uh, for a Prime Minister to have the right image and how much thought goes into that image? To be honest with you, I, I, someone told me today about Margaret Thatcher's um, hair and, you know, I'd want whoever represents our country to, to look smart and presentable and not to look like they don't care. So I think it's a massive reflection on people that they, 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 they represent our country at the, at the, at the highest level. And uh, uh, were you responsible for George Osborne's uh, Manchester hairstyle? Did David Cameron recommend him to you as well? I don't know whether so you could sorry? hear him. I was just asking whether you were responsible for uh, George that. Osborne's change in image with the uh, Manchester hairstyle. No, I wasn't. No. OK. Lino Capaziero, thank you very much indeed and congratulations on your MBE.